Today, we're talking about supply chain attacks, also known as third-party attacks. This is when someone infiltrates your system through an outside company with access to your systems or data. When you think about your organization, it's a connected network of vendors, suppliers, people, and software that keep you operational. Your payroll software stores sensitive employee data. Your vendors store payment information somewhere. The software you use for your technical drawings stores your intellectual property. Each one of these elements have varying degrees of access to information and can be used as an entry point to get in and do more damage. The SolarWinds hack is a well-known example of this type of supply chain attack, where software was used as an entry point to exfiltrate data of hundreds of other companies and government agencies. So how do you keep track of all the potential gaps in the vendors and software you use? You start by asking more direct questions about the types of security measures and regulatory frameworks being used by the vendors and software companies. These can take the form of risk assessment questionnaires, cybersecurity ratings, and evaluations. Regulatory frameworks like CMMC, NIST 171, CIS, ISO 27001, PCI, and others help you determine the level of security vendors have in place. These regulatory requirements can work both ways to help you determine the security levels in vendor selection, but they can also force you to increase your own cybersecurity measures to continue doing business with those that require them. We see more of these frameworks becoming requirements across industries and with good reason. The landscape of doing business has changed and the cost of doing business is cybersecurity. With so many choices for software that make business more efficient, it's important to stop and ask the right questions around the information you're giving up and what access you're granting to vendors that help your organization function. No matter where you're at in your cybersecurity maturity, some key questions and internal processes can help you better protect your organization and mitigate your chances of supply chain attacks.